Today I'd like to discuss the 3D freestyle curve in the freestyle workbench. You'll notice under creation type we have what's called near points. The near points function will allow us to generate a spline that best fits itself based off of the option set for our deviations through a series of points. It can be three points, it can be a hundred points. Now the best way to select those points is to have them set up in a singular geometrical set and simply select the geometrical set. Upon selection of the geometrical set, a best fit spline goes through the points. And you'll notice that the spline does not actually touch the points. It goes near the points based off of my allowable deviation, my segmentation, and my max order. So if I come in here and reduce my max order, you'll notice the spline begins to deviate a little bit further from those points. In essence, you're telling it I want a simpler spline to run through those points. And as you can see here, it swings pretty near, kind of far away. This is the furthest point away so on and so forth. But the spline runs in through those points. If I reduce this some more, you'll notice that here my spline runs further away from several of the points. In this case the deviation actually happened to go down a little bit. If I increase my segmentation or increase my order, I can change the shape of that spline because I'm allowing it to run closer to those points. Now, I can also increase or decrease my deviation. Okay, so based off of these inputs, I can generate my curve. I have various smoothing options as well. Think of this as sort of taking a rolling pin over those points. I guess is the easiest way to describe that between the chord length and uniform. I don't want to get too into the minutia here. There's various options for most people. It's simply what is my resultant spline and what gives me the best results through those points.